Hello everybody, Chris Johnson from Chris Johnson Coaching. I am glad you can join me today. Yesterday, I posted a video re talking about reflecting on racing, reflecting on games that you have, and using all the information to your advantage. Pointing out all the things that you've done right, and also taking a look at where you need to improve. Don't walk away from a race, don't walk away from a game and never think about it again because you can grow from all those experiences. So what can happen to you when you start recognizing different aspects of your racing, say BMX? If you're recognizing a spot where you're having trouble at, it can bring up some different feelings for you. For example, if you are a racer that always taps your brakes or when you go into a corner you go high so think of a corner getting really busy and are you the type of person that goes into the corner a little bit worried taps the brakes or goes high and lets people go be, go past you well there are a lot of racers out there that do that well why are you doing that well let's take a look at that and what I do with my training and EFT is I like to tap out those things that are bothering you. Are you scared of crashing? Are you scared of a specific competitor? Well, those things will become blocks in you. And what we need to do is tap out those blocks. So let's do a quick little EFT session. Even if you're not the person that goes in the corner and taps his brakes, or even if you're not the person that's afraid of crashing, you still will benefit from doing EFT tapping. It's called borrowed benefits. So as I'm doing this, I want you to do this with me. So a quick little show you about what EFT is all about. So EFT is tapping and we tap on different parts of our body. So the first thing that we tap on is called the karate chop. And we use the two fingers here that I, I use, or sometimes you can use three, whatever you're most comfortable with. And I tap on the karate chop, okay? I'm gonna show you all the points first. So this is called the karate chop. Other tapping areas that we tap on are right at the top, right where your eyebrow starts. Tap right there, and I do my middle finger. And then you go on to the side of your eye. It feels a little bit, a little bit soft right there, and you're gonna tap in the indent. Okay, then you move underneath your eye, and you tap right there. And you go underneath your nose, right in that little cleft there. Tap right there. Tap enough that you can feel it. Don't tap lightly. Tap enough that you can feel it. Then you go to the chin right there and you do a tap right there. What we're doing is tapping on all the meridian points of the body. And I go to the part where the collarbone is. And it's a little indent there. And I make a fist and I tap on there. You can tell my voice changes a little bit. And then right underneath the armpit. If you're a female, it's where the bra line is. Guys, I know you don't wear bras, so it's just below the armpit. So you tap right there. And the last one is atop your head. Tap right there. Okay, we're gonna do a little tapping session, a quick tapping session, just to show you what I do and when I work with athletes. So let's, hypothetically, you're an athlete that is a BMX rider and does really well but when it comes to the corners you struggle you have a tendency to tap your brakes or go high and let everybody go when it gets busy in the corner well I would ask you what what is it about that corner that bothers you well the corner really I'm really scared of crashing okay so I would say so I would get that from you that you're scared of crashing now I'll look at where do you feel that scaredness in your body now it could be scaredness um, some people define it as nervousness. So, and trying to be aware of where you're feeling that in your body when you're thinking about going into a corner. Could be, let's say hypothetically that it's, uh, I get nervousness in my stomach. I feel some butterflies. Okay. So then I would ask you on a scale of zero to 10, zero being, I'm not nervous at all, doesn't bother me, to 10 being, oh my God, I am fearful of the corner. So I will ask you, and you'll give me a rating. So let's say it's a seven. Seven's pretty good, pretty high rating for being nervous and being scared. 
So let's go through a little demonstration of a tapping session and I want you to do it with me. So as I tap, you're going to tap the exact same spots that I'm doing and then I will say a phrase and I'll give you a moment and I want you to repeat the phrase out loud. All right, here we go. Tapping with the karate chop. Okay, now you're going to repeat after me. Even though I'm scared of going into the corner, I'm nervous that I might crash. I can feel the nervousness in my stomach. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Even though I'm nervous about going into the corner, I'm scared that I might crash. It makes me feel nervous in my stomach. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. We're going to do that one more time. Even though I'm nervous about going into the corner, I feel scared of crashing. I can feel some nervousness in my stomach. I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Okay, now we're going to go through the tapping points. Nervous about going in the corner. I'm scared to crash. I'm feeling nervous about going into the corner. I'm scared to crash. I've got a lot of butterflies in my stomach. I'm really scared when it gets really busy in that corner. I don't want to crash. I'm feeling really scared in the corner. I'm releasing all my nervousness. I'm releasing my scaredness of being in the corner. I know I'm a great racer. I know I am ready. I know I am strong. I'm releasing all my nervousness. I'm releasing the thoughts of going into that corner. I am feeling really confident. Okay, take a deep breath. Blow it out. Okay. So that is the start of a tapping session. So what usually happens is some feelings come up and sometimes it's just feelings coming out of nowhere. So what I'll do is I'll check in with those feelings and check in with how you're feeling and we're gonna continue to tap. Where we start when we tap and where we end could be two totally different things. There could be other things that are affecting you. Maybe it was a crash from a couple of years ago. Maybe it was a concussion that you had, maybe, who knows? There's so many different things that can affect you. Well, this is how I do my one-on-one -on -one sessions with EFT. Such a powerful tool, an amazing tool that helps you bust through those blocks and helps you get to the peak performance that you should be at. Until next time, Chris Johnson with Chris Johnson Coaching. Have a great afternoon.